So out of the timeout, draw control coming at midfield. 18 minutes and 21 seconds to play in the second half. Salva Regina right now pitching a shutout up 11 to nothing. Ball loose on the ground, scooped up by Husson. They'll try to get something going here almost halfway through the second period. Ball comes to Ricky Bryant. Bryant will hold. Cradle looking for an interior pass. She moves to her right now. Pass behind the net. Stolen away by O'Reilly. O'Reilly coming out of the net to make a steal. Not often you see that. Gina Torici moving the ball up ahead near midfield. Has her stick slapped at and she's fouled. Tortorici up ahead to Tepper. Now to Melanzac. Melanzac will take up position down the left quarter. Now to Tepper. Tepper move to Tortorici. Tortorici moves to Gillespie. Tortorici holding. Back to Tepper. Tepper spins to right. Back to left. Feeds Tortorici inside the arc. Backs back out. Comes to Catherine Mele. Mele. Back to Tepper. Tepper standing at the point. Moves to the far right side. Back to Caitlin Gillespie. Gillespie holding, spinning, passing back out to the point. Salve content just to hold the ball here and pass around on the per perimeter. Up by 11, pitching a shutout, 11-0. Almost halfway through the second half. Ball comes to Miley again. To Tepper, being pressured there by Saucier. But she backs back out. Pass just wide, heading out of bounds. So a turnover on the Seahawks. Huston ball with 15:44 to play in the second half. Salva Regina extending pressure here, and they have the steal. And they're right back on the attack and in position to bleed more clock. Working her way down near the goal and getting fouled. Looks like Caitlin will take up free position. Works her way in, shoots, and she scores! Caitlin Gillespie on the free position with 15 minutes to play in the second half. It's 12 0. And that Gillespie's second goal of the season. Draw control coming once again at midfield. Salve Regina up 12 to nothing. Ball loose on the ground. Picked up by Husson. Saucier, she can't control it though. Now she does. Crosses midfield. Spins on Tortorici, spins on Miley, and works her way all alone in the offensive end. Saucier running all by herself, shooting, blocked away by O'Reilly. Salve can't control the rebound, though, and Husson with the second chance here. 13-41 to play in the second half. Shot on goal, saved by O'Reilly. No, went through the net. 
So Husson on the board. Looked like O'Reilly had made the save. Attempting to make the stick save. So Husson on the board with 13-20 to play in the second half. And the score is 12-1. Play happening on the far side of the field. Can't be sure who the goal scorer was. But that breaks the shutout. Caitlin Stauffer awarded the goal. 12 minutes and 45 seconds left here in the second half. Salve still in control of this game. 12 to 1 is the score. At the eighth goal of the season for Stauffer. Draw control coming at midfield. Ball in the air, picked off by Salve Regina. Pass almost stolen by Coughlin, but it trickles out of bounds, and Salve Regina is still in possession. McNulty with it. Ball being held now by Gillespie on the right side. Passes behind the net. South Virginia taking a position in the offensive zone. Trying to run more clock. Gillespie with it. Moves behind the net to Miley. Ball back out to McNulty. She loses it momentarily, but picks it off the ground. Passes to Tortorici. Tortorici holding. Moves back to the point. Looks like Aaron Gerard holding there. Being double teamed. Moves back to Tortorici. Moves to Miley. Moves behind the net. Samantha Smithmick, Smithwick with it. Now it comes once again to Tortorici at the point. Trying to feed middle. Pass just wide and Doloff picks it off the turf. And we'll hold there looking for the clear. Outlet pass, deflected, picked up by the Seahawks, shot on goal, blocked away, ball still loose on the ground, and Doloff picks it up again. We'll try a second time to clear, long clear, out near the 30-yard line, over the head of a Husson player, but she picks it off the ground and is on the run at the 50-yard line to the 40. At the 30, charging all the way into the offensive zone and up the right side is Bicknell. Bicknell passing back to the point, charging strong up the right side, now passing behind the net. Kim Gabin with it there. Gabin with it. Passes back behind the net. 9.44 to play in the second half. Salva Regina leading 12-1. to Whistle and a stoppage of play. And they call an offensive foul on Husson. So Salva Regina with the ball taking over again. Charging near midfield is Pilati. Passing back to Tortorici. The wind picking up now here at Gaudet Field as the rain has subsided. Nine minutes to play in a 12-1 game. Maddie Russell cradling. Moves to the arc. Spinning. No room there, so she backs it back out and clears to the point. Ball comes now behind the net. Gabon with it.
Trying to work middle. She spins and fires back to the right side. Shot just wide of the net, and it'll trickle out of bounds. And they rule Salve Regina ball. 8-22 and rolling to play in the second half in a 12-1 game. Salve Regina in control from the get-go here. Outlet pass just wide, picked off by Husson. And their inlet pass in the offensive zone is deflected and a foul away from the ball on Salve Regina. It'll be Husson ball. 7.57 to play in the second half. Player working all the way in, shooting and scoring. Twelve to two now the score with seven and a half minutes to play. So the clock continuing to run. Seven minutes now to play in a 12-2 game. Draw control coming at midfield. Ball in the air. Loose on the ground. Being fought for. Still being fought for. Controlled by Salve Regina. Has the ball slapped at. So they give Abby Stahl the goal on that last play. Abby Stahl, a 5'7 junior from Berlin, Vermont. Brings Husson within 10 with six and a half minutes to play here in the second half. Grace Kelly on the left side. Passes behind the net. Miley holding there. Moves back to Sarah Woods. Woods back to Miley. Miley spinning, looking for position. Loses the ball. Loose in the ground. Still loose in the ground, being fought for amongst five players. Ball trickles out of bounds. Referees say off a of Seahawks. So it'll be Husson Ball with 5.45 to play in a 10-point game. Midfield pass, wide of the mark, and O'Reilly comes out of the net to scoop it up, and she'll clear to the right side. Pass out towards midfield on the far right-hand side, working along the perimeter. Salve Regina will settle into the offensive zone, try and run as much clock as they can over five and a half minutes, charging towards the net, shooting, and scoring! Just as I say, Salve Regina may try and run offense and run clock, Shot on net by the Seahawks, and it's 13-2 to with five minutes to play. And Caitlin Gillespie scoring again. Thirteen to two with four minutes and forty-three seconds to play here. Foul called on Salve Regina. Kim Gabin with the ball will move into the offensive zone. She shut off, backed away. Another collision at midfield. Collision between Aaron Gerard and a and Saucier. They rule Husson ball. With 3.45 to play. Ball comes middle. Spinning. Looking for a shot that's just wide. 
They call a foul, though, so it looks like it should be free position shot here for Husson with under three and a half minutes to play. Sally Regina leading this game as they have the entire way, 13-2. to two. Shot on goal, blocked away by O'Reilly, but controlled still by Husson. Shot down the right side, shooting and scoring. So not sure whether it's lackadaisical defense or maybe Husson found their groove, but too little, too late. Ten point game, thirteen to three, with two forty eight and the clock rolling here in the second half. I believe that goal was scored by number seven, Matty Russell. That goal of Russell's third of the season. So Husson with the ball. Two minutes to play here in the second half. Salva Regina, Salva Regina leading 13-3. to three On what has been a rainy and cold afternoon here at Cadet Field. Kaitlin Stauffer holding on the right side. Moves it to the middle. Spinning. Shooting again just wide. O'Reilly charging to the right side to block off the shot. Another foul called, though. Under 90 seconds to play. And Salva Regina in possession of the ball, leading by 10, 13 to 3. Pass just wide of the mark, rolling into the offensive zone and scooped up by a Husson player on the far side. 60 seconds to play now. Miley picks off a pass at the 30-yard line. Will spin and work away into the offensive zone. They call a foul. It'll stay Salvi Regina ball. 40 seconds to play. Salvi Regina... Wire to wire, they will win this game and improve to 2-2 two and two on the season. 30 seconds away now from that mark. Grace Kelly holding, and she'll move to Sarah Woods. Sarah Woods will move to Miley, and now 15 seconds to play. Seahawks will probably just hold the ball. Sarah Woods. Holding, double team comes, ball loose on the ground. Foul called, and they rule Husson ball with six seconds to play. But this game has long been over. Saucier reaches midfield, and that's it. Final seconds tick off the clock, and this game is over. Salve Regina wins wire to wire, 13 to three. The final strong scoring outputs again from Grace Kelly and Sarah Woods. Sarah Woods, 13 goals now on the season to, to continue to pace the Seahawks as the point leader. Josephine O'Reilly, another strong outing in net, and Salve Regina improves to two and two with a win here on a rainy Saturday, uh, rainy Wednesday afternoon. I'd like to thank our entire staff and production crew and to you for listening. The Seahawks next face Eastern Connecticut State in the fourth game of the seven-game homestand this Friday at 4.30. You'll hear me, Andrew Pizzelli, on the call of that game as well. Until then, thank you for listening and good night.